All right, people, Brandon Owsley, new video. Uh, I was thinking about something very, very important this weekend regarding prints. Um, I know a lot of people have been wondering, where is Purple Rain 30? Where is the 30th anniversary of Purple Rain after um, it was announced this spring, earlier this spring, that um, reissues were coming out? So I was, I was thinking to myself, like, what would be the cool way the coolest way of bringing in the 30th anniversary of Purple Rain. Yes, this album right here, uh, yeah, classic, we all know it. So I was just thinking like, what would be a cool way for Warner Brothers to help promote and advertise this upcoming package? Um, there have been no new details on when this Purple Rain 30th Anniversary Deluxe Package is coming out. Um, there have been a lot of talk uh, amongst the Prince community that it should be out sometime in November or later on this fall. Uh, we have yet to get any press release. It's just been, uh, you know, something that has been in the air, really. I've been thinking, you know, yes, it, it would be generous for them to come out with this package in November or December somewhere around the holiday shopping season but I was also thinking about ding ding the Grammys I was thinking sort of like how you know y'all remember how Michael Jackson had Thriller 25 and he went through this whole reissue campaign with with um, Thriller 25 he even you utilize the Grammys in helping to promote the that pack that particular package. It was a major success. Um, it helped hype up the reissue as you know we really didn't need another reissue of Thriller, but you know it it did serve its purpose. Now here's what I was thinking because I know I'm kind of rambling in this video already, but I was thinking of the you know Prince. And some of the members of the revolution, definitely Wendy and Lisa, um, uh, Dr. Fink, all like like all of the all of the revolution members performing this one special on this one special night on the Grammy Awards, like in this big medley of songs. Like give them like 25 minutes to just do their thing. Um, just do a medley of songs from the Purple Rain era, bring people and reintroduce people back into what made this era and what made this album so like mesmerizing. But definitely, like the Grammy Awards, you know, find some way to find that you know that balance between music and film and. I mean, it, it would be really, really good, and it would definitely be a good time because they can release that package sometime in February or the, you know, the following month in March of next year if they don't, if they decide not to release it um, by the end of this year. And I think it would be a great opportunity for Prince and Warner Brothers and this new reissue campaign that is coming up. I was thinking of like a special regarding Purple Rain, celebrating the 30th anniversary of Purple Rain, maybe with BET, MTV, VH1, I know that's far-fetched, but I think it would be nice if they would film a documentary like on VH1 Rock Docs showing the making of Purple Rain. You know, I'm sure that there is exclusive footage from the Purple Rain era and they can really show that and tie it in with the Purple Rain, um, the, the, 30th, the release of the 30th anniversary for Purple Rain. I mean, I mean, there are so many ways that Warner Brothers can really go about pushing and promoting this reissue. And I'm, I'm sure some people are gonna say, well, it's just a reissue, so what do you really expect? Like, I'm thinking like Grammy Awards, Prince, members of the revolution, giving us a one-time only performance, a one-time only performance. They can even satellite the performance um, and, and they could probably do a set at uh, First Avenue in Minneapolis and really like, get them like 25 minutes to perform and do all of, you know, do their medley of songs. I mean, I think it would really get people hyped um, unless, 
if Prince's ego gets in the way, if we, you know, he feels like, okay, it's not a big deal, yeah, okay. But I just think that it would be a good opportunity for us to really get people to be, to, to get people reintroduced to this music and to this era and what made this period in Prince's extraordinary career so important. But if you really look closely at the album cover for Art Official Age, they actually have the three or four vinyl records in the background and it's kind of blurred so you can't really see it but it's definitely of the Purple Rain vinyl but it's on very transparent clear vinyl and I don't know if that is a surprise or if that's supposed to be an indication on, on you know what is about to come. I just don't think that it would be smart for them to just release it just up and release it out of nowhere without a press release. I mean without some type of announcement because you know everybody earlier this spring were so ecstatic when it was announced that in the media that Warner Brothers were working on reissues of Prince's material. Prince just for you to just reunite one time with the revolution and do a set for the Grammy Awards would like shut the Grammy Awards down. Do you all think that this will be a great opportunity. Um, do you think my predictions are a little far too far-fetched? Or do you really think that they are spot on? And what are some of your predictions on what Warner Brothers will do um, when it comes to the 30th anniversary for Purple Rain? Do you think that they're just gonna release it on its own and without any indication? Or do you, you know, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think November, December, holiday shopping season is a good time to put it out? Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will be uh, back with more videos. Uh, I'm going to take a little break or detour from Prince for a little while. Um, I have so many surprises for you all, so please stay tuned. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Um, and just tell me what you all think. So... I'm out, Brandon Owsley, Brando So, finished, done, have a great day.